April coming at you from Hillbilly Gaming, playing Black Ops 3. In my mind, Black Ops 3 is probably the best uh, game to come out in 2015. It's definitely the best first-person shooter game, and probably the best Call of Duty game since Black Ops 1. But let's get out here. We're playing on Fringe, which is an old-timey town with 10 barns and 10 buildings. So let's get it on. I'm using the Man of War. I hate that long tunnel right there with the train in the middle it seems like there's always five or six guys running down that son of a bitch every time you go down it you get one guy then someone shoots you so let's check out the other way see if we can't come around this side this map's pretty cool man it gives you a bunch of places to camp there's a dude camped in that window right the hell off let me reload my gun pick me up another gun there on the ground got me the viper yeah i run with one gun in my classes that way i can have extra perks or i can run with six attachments on my gun or whatever I don't ever really need a backup because I can always pick one up off the dead guys on the that's all laying around on the ground. Grab one of their guns and I'm good to go. Got me a double kill right there using the Viper now, which is a hellacious submachine gun. Now I'm headed back to that freaking tunnel of death here. If y'all play on this map, you know this tunnel right here is usually pretty pretty full of people. But right now there ain't nobody but me and some dude running above my head. That's one of the good things on Black Ops 3, man. One of the changes they made where you can run on the walls. And I kind of freaking like it, man. It gives you something different to the game. And they changed a lot of things up on Black Ops 3 from the past. It's more futuristical, which everyone knows. But you can run on the walls. You can swim in the water and fight. So they changed a lot of things up. I don't know what else they can do on Black Ops. I don't think they can go very much more futuristical. Maybe on the next Black Ops, they can or next Call of Duty, they can come out with a maybe go back to like Modern Warfare or something, back to the World War II maps, kind of shoot it back a little bit or something. But I don't know. I got no complaints with this one. It's just high tech, and I don't see how much higher tech they can go. We can already run on the walls, fly around like a superhero. So I don't see how much higher tech they can get it, or how much future more futuristical without kind of ruining the game. I thought it was going to ruin it with this time, but it didn't. It's pretty cool. I'm using the Nomad as my specialist. That's another thing they got on the uh, Black Ops 3 is they got a set of specialists that you can choose from. You don't get to create your own character anymore. You got to use a specialist that they give you, but they're pretty cool. I mean, if you choose the right one, they got special moves. They got two different sets of special moves. And it's like having an extra kill streak. Right now I'm using Nomad and I'm using the Hive. And the Hive is freaking awesome, dudes. You can just shoot them around on the ground. As soon as you get the Hive, just shoot them around in doorways or wherever you want and let people run into them. And as long as you're alive, they stay active and a bunch of nanobots jump up and eat a person alive. But here we go camping out man this I told you this is a good little camping mat so I'm doing a little camping right here kind of watching this doorway so I decided to go to the other side because two or three people know I was hiding on that side and right there's what I was telling you man that hive will get you kills dudes you just plant that hive and then you just run around and it'll end up getting you kills that's two two kills I've gotten from that hive right now and I ain't had to do nothing but just run around all right there he comes you see him look behind that door he thought I was gonna be camped over there so now I'm in move spots again I know it's kind of shitty play camping around but everybody does it man if you're gonna be successful you gotta build a camp usually I run around like an idiot with my head cut off running gun but you kill one person or two people then you end up getting killed yourself so I'm gonna try a little different strategy here so I'm doing a little camping on fringe you end up getting a lot more kills when you camp around Especially if you keep changing spots. If you camp in the same spot over and over, everybody's going to know where you're at. So they'll all come running for that spot. So you just move another spot over, kind of like fuck with their heads. They come running to shoot you and hide behind one door and you're at the other door. It's kind of bullshit play. I kind of get mad when people camp around on me sometimes. But it's part of the freaking game, man. Everybody else is camping, so you got to camp too if you want to be successful. Uh, I think they're through running in the window. Nope, there's somebody at the back door. Alright, I got my Talon. On my kill streaks, I'm running with a care package, a Talon, and a Wrath. So I got my Wrath set up, man. It'll go out there and do some damage on its own. I don't have to guide it. Now I can set my care package up here. And then I can throw my Talon out. 
See that Rash doing some business right now, man. It's out there slaying people for me. But right now, I'm waiting on my kill on my care package. And it was just a counter UAV, but that kind of blacks them all out and helps the whole team. So now I got my talent out. I got my wrath out. Let me set my hive around here. Put it at all my little what passages here, wherever somebody can come up. And that way, that wrath got me a kill. That wrath, boy, that's a bad son of a bitch, man. I like it as well as the talon. I like the talon better if I got time to, you know, operate it myself. Because it don't seem like it gets you as many kills. Die, bitch, die. Oh, that was sweet. Uh, I had to pick me up a pistol because my assault rifle was empty. I need to find me a place to hide and operate my talent here, man. You don't get as many kills with the talent unless you operate it yourself. Oh, shit. Well, the game's about over, guys. I hope this was a good game. I end up having an awesome game. There's only one more dead left. Let me see if I can run out here with my talent. There's somebody in the doorway. Die, bitch, die. All right. I got final kill with my talent. We end up kicking their ass 75 to 34. I had an awesome freaking game there. I went 25 and 3, my best game of the day. Hope y'all enjoyed this video using Nomad and his Hive. And the Hive got me like 7 kills. It got me almost as many kills as my kill streaks did. But I had a good game. Appreciate it. Drop a comment. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.